Hi everyone, it's Jane here, just as promised to do a little walkthrough of the new deck that I told you that I'd got. Um, as I mentioned, I'm not planning to buy lots of new decks this year, um, just because I've got enough, really. Um, and also, I'm not seeing any decks that are really jumping off the page to me, like they're something really different. Um, this is the first one I've bought for ages. Um, so I did buy this one, A, because it was different to anything else that I'd, well, not completely different because it's vampires and it's spooky and I've got a lot of spooky decks. So, um, but this one is quite different. Um, but also the reason I bought it was because it was really, really inexpensive. Um, and this deck came, I got this deck on eBay. It was new. Um, it was from Germany. It was shipped from Germany. Um, shipping was free. Can't go wrong. Um, and the deck itself was only £15. So, you know what? I didn't think that was too bad for a nice spooky deck. So, the, the deck is called, as you can see, I'm going to absolutely probably muller this now, Lotaro Interidi Vampira. Um, so it's by Victor Dixon, as you can see, and the artists here, um, Emmanuel Iger and Nicholas, that's probably Yamono, um, but I'm sorry if I've absolutely butchered your name. Um, it has, let me just see. Um, so you have the little description on the back of everything here. Um, now everything's in French and that's fine with me um I did French at school I don't have a lot of French language to speak um but I can work out kind of what it's saying um but with it being a tarot deck that is um well you'll see it is, I found it quite easy because I've had a look through it. So I, I'm not having a problem with what it's all about. Um, so in this is f the price in France. It was €19.95. Euros. I only paid £15 pounds for it. So you know what? I didn't think that was bad. So it comes in a really nice box. Nice and sturdy. Um, it has a... Um, sorry, let me just stand up and make sure that I'm on... Oh, actually, I'm not sure whether this is going to come out very well because of the lighting. Um, if it doesn't come out very well, I have to try and do it in the daylight, but I'm doing my best. Um, this is the book, as I said, all in French. Really nice book. Um, so, yeah, I'll be I'll be having a look through that to see what I can work out. And then the deck. So the deck comes in a in this like little tray thing that doesn't work very well. These tray things never work very well, do they? So the cards are kind of shuffled about a little bit. It's fine, but it's not ideal. Um, I'll probably keep them somewhere else, but it's it's all right. Um, it's a matte stock. They're not bad, you know. They're not they're not the best ever. But they're not, they're not super wobbly. Definitely, definitely fine in terms of stock. So I would just have a little flip through them. I won't take too long, just in case the lighting on this video is appalling and I have to do it again um, in the daylight tomorrow. That might be a better plan. So we're just going to go through them. Several. Magician. Priestess, Empress, Emperor. It's all very kind of Louis the Fourteenth, isn't it? And it's a hierophant and lovers, chariot, and strength. I don't mind the borders. Like the wheel. Justice. Temperance. 
and the devil. The tower. The star. Moon. Sun. Judgment. And the world. Fab. So those are great. Then we've got, looks like mirrors. I'm guessing mirrors are probably cups. But let's see as we go through. These are quite pippish. I would say. Yeah, definitely cups. I love this walking away or walking towards something else. And the rainbow, so beautiful. I think we have a prince and princess or a page and a page and we have two knights a female and a male and a queen and a king so there's a few extra cards in this deck I should have said that before This is, this is silver, so probably pentacles, I'm guessing. I love the knights. Caesar so staves, these are wands most likely. Yeah, wands. So these are nice. The direct point you knew in the right direction. I like that. That's good. That's good too. So they do have little helpful handy hints other than the pips. Um, you know, it's like we've got this fig tree um, crown here. I love this for putting your walls up. The seven and the eight. And the nine. And the ten. And the pages. Our Knight of Wands. And then our Swords. Yeah, see, we've still got a little boat here. Now seven with the something hidden. And that whole eight of swords energy of feeling a bit, you know, trapped. And the nine. And the ten. I love this deck. The more I look at it, I have had a quick look through before I did this. Um, more I look at it, more I love it. It is fabulous. Um, yep, yeah, French doesn't matter. I think it's a few. I wouldn't say, you know, if you don't speak French and you don't have a good background in tarot, 
um, and maybe a bit of numerology as well to help because some of the um, miners are a bit pippish. Um, maybe not a beginner's deck, unless you actually, unless you speak French, in which case you could, you could really easily make that work. I think you would still need a bit of numerology, a bit of understanding of how the pips work. Um, so if, if your experience of tarot has just purely been Rider Waite Smith or you know, other illustrated, fully illustrated decks, um, it may not be for you, but honestly, I love it. I think it's a great deck. The, the stock is really good considering it was £15. Um, I might actually edge that in black if I've got a spare evening where I just want to sit quietly um, and do that. But yeah, really love it. Pop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. And um, yeah, please do like, subscribe, share, all of those good things. Because it really does help the channel out. Um, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching.